All right, we're back on the drop back with Captain John. Yeah, baby. Last time we went fishing, that was explosive. <laughs> it was crazy. So this should be a good video again. And we got a couple special people on the boat, which I'm about to show you right now. Yeah, Look who we got. We got Craig. It's it. been a while since you've been on a video. Year. He's been fishing too much. He's got a new boat coming. We're, oh. There's gonna be some fun stuff coming by here in the, the future. By this spring. Any hints on what it is? Yeah, I'm gonna probably get a 32 white water. So if anybody <laughs> wants one, don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that? Don't buy it. 32 white water, don't buy it. Because I'm looking for it. Unless if you buy it and just give it to Craig. Yeah. <laughs> and we also got, wait for this, we got a bunch of special people on the boat today. Check it out. No, we got no, Captain Dan. Y'all no. already know who this awesome guy is. <laughs> and my brother all the way from Germany. Well, hello. And his girlfriend. It ties with Francisca. <laughs> oh! Wow. No one's going to be able to say that. Francisca. <laughs> we were going to mahi fish today, but the reports have been more... They're pretty far out, so I think we're going to look for some muttons, some kingfish, and... Yeah, we'll just... We'll see what we get on. Hold up, I'm on a different boat. And before we start this fishing trip with the OG crew, I actually had an old sponsor reach out to me. Remember that uh, survival video where I <coughs> didn't do much surviving? More uh, getting sick, dehydrated. Maybe part of my soul died that day. But the sponsor of that video was Anchor. This portable charging unit, the solar panel that came with it that can charge this unit. And they've read all your comments and there is a lot of y'all saying that you love the concept of having a power station like this if you're going on a camping trip, hunting trip, fishing trip where you need to charge some things. You're going on an island for a week and you just need to charge your laptops or whatever reason you might have. I just built a big aquarium in my house. So I keep this bad boy here on standby. If my power ever goes out, I can just plug my aquarium into this thing and it'll run for a long time. Now, the only problem with this unit was that for many of you, it was just too big of a unit. If you're going camping on an island from your boat for a day or even two days, you don't need a unit that can charge your laptop 20 times. For a lot of y'all, this was just too much of an overkill. And this company read your guys' comments and created and developed the perfect solution for you guys. Something a little less. The 521 Portable Power Station by Anchor. This thing is much lighter. It still has two AC output units, USB charging units. It's got everything that you need. Let's take it out of the box, shall we? So the box has a wall charging unit to charge it back up. It can also be charged by the solar panel. Oh, I love this smell of new fresh stuff. Oh man, this thing is adorable. Look at it. Wow, look at this little thing. Big boy, little boy. It's so much lighter. I can carry it with one finger. I mean, I can carry both of them with one finger. It has all the same features. This right here is a light bar. This is the light bar, you can push that, it'll turn on. It's got three USB outputs, two AC outputs, plug in your laptops, plug in lights. The AC outputs can put out a total of 200 watts. I say we hook this bad boy up to the solar panel. So the 521 power station has a little DC input there in the back. You see that hole right there? That's where you plug it in and that's how you charge the unit. It comes with this wall charger, plug it into your wall, plug that into the back of the unit and it'll charge it. But for you real badasses out there, take your anchor solar panel, take the wire that comes with, that'll fit right into the back. Just plug it on in there. All right, it's plugged in. You can see the cord goes right into the solar panel. Open up your solar panel. Boom, and instantly it just turned on. The unit is charging up and this thing charges at an incredibly fast rate. Especially here in Florida, we got so much sun. It's beaming down right on my head. I'll leave these guys out here charging. These are good times we're living in. In addition to the wall charging unit, it also comes with a car charging unit. This will plug into the back of the unit where the solar panel is plugged in now. Plug that into your car or boat, that'll also charge it. If you're one of the people that thought that the 800 was just a little too big for you, now you got the 521, which is the perfect solution. Go check them out. I'm gonna link it in the video description below. And from personal experience, the best thing about these units is when you're out camping and the stereo system runs 
one's out of juice, you can be the hero when you pull this sucker out and for the next few days, your whole camp is powered. Y'all are probably still wondering why there is a million dollar boat tied up on my dock with 1600 horsepower. And well, you're just gonna have to push that subscribe button to find out, cause that's in a different video. But I think now it's time to get back to the fishing action with the OG crew. Let's get to it. Trying to get him away from the other line. Oh my god, he's so high. Oh, get strapped in. Nice. Oh my god, he's so high. Don't let go. Don't let go. Okay. Nice fish. Oh, oh, I can't pull it up. That's it, and then reel. Up and down. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And down. And then reel when you go down. Oh, this one's heavy. Big boy? It's a big boy! Right, you guys need to move into the corner when that fish goes. Uh, go, you guys, move into the corner. Come right. yeah. on over. That way we won't drop the line on the boat. Oh, yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. You're yeah. doing great. Sure, I'm, I, I, I. Must be a tiny middle. <laughs> yeah. It's probably a bigger version of what you just picked up. Yeah, it probably is. See if I can get it underwater. Yep, yep, yep. Lift and then, and then reel in, reel in, reel in. Nice work. Go. Good technique. Nice. There's, that's it. You want me to sneak that other yeah, one down I, there yet? Uh, yeah, keep it pushed back. Nice. Is that good? Oh, I see the fish. All right, all right, we're good. Stanford. Oh. Oh. Jack. Oh. You want him? Hey, Jack. Um, I don't know if he's going to make it. Okay. Woo nice work. Well, that hook wasn't coming out for anything. Okay. You want to get rid of him, you think? Yeah. 
Get back on that fish. I'm enjoying watching you guys fish. Yeah. This is good. It's just as fun watching someone else grill it. Especially when they're like this. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's ripping the drag. That's a good one. Put it to him. And then we got a belt if you have oh, yeah, you might need that. I'll take a belt. Okay, I got it. Yeah, thanks. She's probably real. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's night and day, thanks. It's... Oh no, I need a net. Okay, I'll grab the net. You got a net? He looks, he looks right on the edge. Should I, should I go on the side or the back? Alright. I liked how he already had the yeah, belt on and everything, ready to ready go. go. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even bother taking it off. <laughs> Show up to the dock with it. I'm ready. Look at that crank and pumping action yeah, going. Oh, now he's coming towards it. Oh, oh, he's going forward. He's swimming forward. Oh, he's shot out of the boat, turn the handle. Woo! Good save. Woo! I thought he was going in the front. Right, he did. fill of kingfish yeah we did and now yeah there's going to be some fish dip going on later and now i think we're going to try for a sailfish maybe a tuna a sailfish would be epic how much we try to get kingfish when we were kids <laughs> like so many trips out and just got skunk yeah and now we just caught how many in a row <laughs> a lot as fast as the bay hits the water we're reeling one in yeehaw crazy didn't even have time for a beer break <laughs> yeah no beer yet <laughs> i had one beer he's a warrior through the eye Hook him this way, then the shank goes along his beak, and then you just wrap it along the beak. And then he pulls cool. straight. <laughs> oh, the black fish, I need that. Oh. Let him eat that. He came out of the water, that was sick. That was a big black fish. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Nice work. Oh, nice black He's fish. a screamer! <laughs> That's wow. a screamer. Yeah, big right here. Hence, oh, hence all right. the screamer. One creamy and another ballyhoo, long left rigger. Got him. <laughs> oh, forward, forward, tell her to watch forward. Slower, forward, slow, forward, slow, forward, slow, 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 slow. Real forward? Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah, this is a different type of. There you go. Yep. Yeah, we're learning. Nice catch, by the way. Nice. That's, that's the screaming part. That's the screaming part. <laughs> I'm glad we were talking oh, about it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Real, real. something happened to him. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's it. gone. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, that was ripped out on the other two. Yeah. All right, we're back at the crib and check it out. I got kingfish without skin on it. Thanks, John, for skinning all the kingfish. And then we also got a bunch of kingfish with the skin still on it. We're gonna brine it in sugar, brown sugar and salt. We'll brine it overnight. Then we'll smoke it on the Traeger tomorrow. We'll get some smoked fish. And I've always wondered, is it worth putting the extra effort into taking the skin off? Or should you just leave the skin on? We're about to find out. What do you think is going to be better? You get probably more oils out of the skin. <laughs> we're going to find out. But first, we're going to go to Lazy Lobster oh, yeah. and cook up some of the fish. Let's brine this first. Bite out of it would be so tasty. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Too. There's a few um, wasps in here. Or... Put some sugar in there. That brown sugar. And we'll put some salt in there. We're just going to let it sit. Let it brine up into a juicy brine juice. Focus. We have arrived at Lazy Lobster. <laughs> Feels pretty good. It's like a nice night out today. Yeah, it's refreshing. Good breeze. It's got, like, uh, right now I'm getting prepped up for our annual popcorn. So we've got that uh, November. That looks amazing. So this is, this is compliments of Craig and John. There's a lot in there. Fish has been smoking for three hours now. Let's take a look. Turn the smoker off. They look pretty good. I'm gonna let them cool down on the in the grill for 20-30 minutes, and uh, then they'll be ready for a plucking. 